Well, good morning, everybody, from the Mavora Lakes. Just as pretty at sunrise as it is at sunset. Now, last night, right as I ended the vlog, I ended up driving 20 minutes away just to get internet on my phone and then drive back because I had to make sure I didn't lose my Duolingo streak because that would make me lose all the will to learn German. So I didn't, everything's good now. However, something else I pulled up on my phone is the map of the Lord of the Rings stuff. There's actually four Lord of the Rings scenes shot really close to me. So we're gonna go see that today. Just hiked about two minutes from my campsite and it turns out that according to my map, this log is where Merry and Pippin were hiding from the Uruks in the very end of the Fellowship of the Ring. And also, coincidentally, the slopes in this forest are where they shot the original scenes of the Lurs, the Uruk, I believe, running through the forests right around here. Near the beginning of the Southern Lake, they have this very long suspension bridge that goes across it. They chose to film the Anduin and Silverload River shots right at this bank here. That's pretty cool. I now have almost finished all the Mavora Lakes Lord of the Rings checkpoint filming spots. The only one left is one of the coolest ones, which is the shot with the burning pile of orcs. Now, if you breathe in through your nose for a bit, you might just catch a small drift of rotting orc flesh because right now we are at this exact location where the burning pile of orcs was set with the head upon a pike right here. And this direction, as you can see, is where there would be a pike and then you'd see Legolas and Gimli and Aragorn riding towards it and the, the burning pile would be right here, which is really cool. And if you've seen the extended editions where the actor for Aragorn kicked the helmet so hard he broke his toe, you, you might recognize like these, these hills right nearby. I honestly thought it was all flat. And then I came here and I'm like, wow, there's loads of little hills around here. This is, this is so cool. I know it's something very small for a lot of people, but I just, it's so cool that I'm in the exact location. Another thing to note, I guess, is that this is the entrance to Fangorn Forest as it was portrayed in the film, which is super cool. The inside of that isn't Fangorn Forest though. They actually used a different location for that. For this point, I am Lord of the Rings out. I'm, I'm having a good day. I'm gonna take a long drive to Dunedin for some much Dunedin internet. <laughs> Like someone got out of his fence. What are you doing, man? You might cause that. Get back in there. Get back in there. Now, there are a lot of cities in New Zealand named after some of my friends that are YouTubers, so let's pass through a couple of them. First up, Gabriella Lindsley. Uh, Lindley, yeah? No? <laughs> and here we're at the Mandeville Sisters. That's pretty bang on. And lastly, this small town was named after Bri Bri, St. Patrick's. Good. <laughs> this small little town of Gore doesn't seem half bad. Oh no, no way, that's it. No, country music, I'm out, I'm leaving. Let's go back to the car. So somehow I'm back on gravel roads again, which you might be curious about if you're in New Zealand because it should have been mostly all asphalt on the way to Dunedin. But I saw a street sign that caught my eye and caused me to take almost a half hour diversion to find it again. And I think I'm almost there. It was worth it. <laughs> so at long last, I've now arrived in Dunedin. I actually just Googled good hostel in Dunedin. And there's one like half a mile from here. But annoyingly, I can't just park here. I hate driving in cities because I'm always like, oh, I don't want to get in an accident. So I'm really cautious. Uh, but hopefully I can go over there, get a nice night in the hostel and shower. I miss showering. So for a lot of the drive, I've been making a joke to myself because, you know, I'm the only company I have. And this joke was that with all the things I've broken so far in the last month and a half, the next one to go is obviously the iPhone. And so that's got to be the one thing. I always make sure it's fine. Until I just spent the last 10 minutes searching all over the place for my wallet. I ripped my whole car apart, freaking out like, oh my God, if I left at the lake somehow, I found it. It's all good. But I was like, I didn't even think about the wallet. Gosh, the thing is, I don't even care if it's uncomfortable. That is staying in my pocket at all times now. While well, parking in Dunedin is a bit terrifying. <laughs> my car is literally sideways on a hill. Like, I don't know if you can see how steep this incline is, but I'm not liking it. This city is known for having the steepest incline out of all cities on a road. I'm excited to go see that tomorrow. 
So I've now freshened up and showered and I feel amazing. I'm gonna get some Italian food and then sit at a cafe. The hostel I'm in only gives me 300 megabytes of internet a day, which is like not enough to upload a tenth of a YouTube video for me. So I'm going to maybe sit outside the library and maybe find a cafe. Luckily the hostel where I'm staying is incredibly central near the Octagon, which is the center of the city, right here. So it turns out that even the McDonald's in Dunedin have Wi-Fi limits and I actually use too much data so I couldn't upload a full video. I'll have to try using the city library tomorrow, uh, but basically bad news at the end of the day. It turns out I'm pretty sure that the wound I got from biking is now infected and I'm going to have to get antibiotics for that tomorrow, which sucks quite a bit, but that's what happens when you're camping, don't have a lot of time to clean things out. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I am just a bad luck, Chuck. Uh, hopefully I will see you tomorrow for a fun, small meetup in Dunedin. And I don't know what else, probably just a nice chill day. I'll see you then, goodbye. Definitely got very lucky with the weather today. So nice. So I've now arrived at Baldwin Street that does have a sign saying it is the world's steepest street. Ah!